Hello YouTube. Last time you'd seen all this, let me just show you real quick, you'd seen this package I got in the mail, which is probably the most unusual packaging that I've ever gotten through the mail. So I'm sure you're wondering what we got, so let's show you what I got. So anyways, uh, ah, done. And first off, we got Captivity. Um, I believe I actually have. I think this is. Yeah, I actually have this one as a foreign release. It has. Um, it's a really cool packaging because it's got sand in it. I believe it's UK, um, but I don't have one of these with the slipcase. Uh, this was the reason I had actually purchased this. This all came as a huge lot, and um, I want—I really wanted Rec 2. I ha um, this one has eluded me, so um, excited to be actually get that one. Um, I have no idea, uh, but I am afraid because it's Uli Lamel who really never puts out a good movie. So um, we'll see. Uh, Core 7, I actually own this, I've owned it for a long time, the, um, it's actually a decent version of it, um, I have no idea if this even has any, uh, well, I don't think it's complete, because I do recall it ha it does have, um, some, like, fake paperwork that comes with it as well. But, uh, it's a good two-disc version, and uh, I already own it, so someone will probably get it when I send out a package or something like that. Um, who knows. Uh, Splatter Beach from Camp Motion Pictures. If you name your company after something just called Camp, what can you expect? Uh, this one got listed a little t chuckle from Teresa, which is Caw. The Bloodshed. Seen this a number of times. Um, picked it up, looked it over, but never really wanted to pay the, the price on it. So, getting it as part of the lot, um, it's a pretty good deal. Um, not really hard, so I don't even know why it was in this lot, but The Condemned. Um, Teresa's a huge Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, so I'll just give it to her to watch or something like that before it gets sent off somewhere, because I'm sure I don't want it. Um, also, so that's what was in the banquet package, was these DVDs. Um, but here, also a few things I've been picking up lately, I might as well do this, is, um, of course, some Halloween items. Um, this one actually is the UMD or the PSP game, or excuse me, movie, and um, this has eluded me. Um, I won one on eBay, and it was a big thing, because the guy only sent me the this little part here. Um, it seems that a lot of these games get tossed, these cases get tossed, because these get put into um, smaller cases with kids. But um, it was nice to be able to get a complete one. This is actually a brand new sealed copy of ho original Halloween, and uh, this is a French edition. Down to a pay, maybe like two U.S. ones that I'm still looking for so, on DVD, so it's starting to go heavier on the international releases. Um, this is one of two red editions for Halloween. Um, this is pretty cool hard box.
not numbered or anything like that. Um, that might be something I'm going to have to look into about the 84 release and such. Um, I actually just got this one in today. Uh, this is a three disc um, French edition of Halloween, um, which is kind of f funny because the U.S. one, it's the 25th anniversary. Theirs was the 30th anniversary. And this actually comes with, it's a sealed copy as well, um, but uh, this one comes with the, um, a copy of the original Halloween, the uh, documentary 25 Years of Terror, and then a, um, the convention footage of 25 Years of Terror. So um, this pretty much might be their version of the, the one with the Michael Mask. Michael Myers mask that we got in the United States and all, but um, so it's really interesting that um, you know it's put out as the 30th anniversary edition, and it features the 25th anniversary edition. So that's kind of interesting. Um, that is it for the DVDs. I got two VHS in. Um, this one here is a forefront video release of um, Halloween. This is a, the a UK run. This is the second one I have. Uh, I have another one with Michael at the top of the steps, I believe, ready to descend. And um, it's a pretty interesting choice of color with the gold. You know, you don't usually would see something like that on a, <coughs> a film like this. So it's, I like it. I, I think it's pretty clever. Um, Interesting choice of shots, too. And then, finally, Halloween, Le Notte de la Strega. If I even said that right. Uh, this is an Italian VHS. And the case is considerably larger than your uh, standard case, so that actually this doesn't quite fit on with the rest of my uh, VHS tapes. But that's um, an Italian VHS. So, not bad for the past couple of weeks of uh, picking and uh, choosing on them, and um, there's a few more that are coming in the mail, of course, anything overseas takes its time, um, I know that I was able to secure a really nice VHS from the UK that um, I actually, just to save some, a couple bucks, uh, it's gone. It's being sent to Kulfi, who is actually sending me a package, and he's just going to forward it along. And I appreciate that, Gary. Thank you very, very much. And um, that is actually a uh, an excellent uh, piece. I can't wait to show the people, uh, or the Halloween fans that are on YouTube, um, the one that I've recently acquired. So um, that's it for now. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great evening.